Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. ABC is equal to 240, AB plus C is equal to 46 and A plus BC is equal to 64. Our job is to find all possible values of A, B and C where A, B and C are positive integers. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1, this equation equation 2 and this equation equation 3. First we start from equation 1. Equation 1 is A, B, C is equal to 240. If we divide both sides by C, this implies that A times B is equal to 240 divided by C. Now we put this value of AB 240 over C in this equation 2. Equation 2 is AB plus C is equal to 46. Replace this AB with this 240 over C plus C is equal to 46. Now, if we multiply both sides by C, this implies that 240 plus C squared is equal to 46 times C. Move this 46 C to the left hand side, this will become C squared minus 46 times C plus 240 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this as c squared and we split this negative 46c as a negative 40c minus 6c plus 240 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out c in bracket left c minus 40. And from these two terms, we can factor out negative 6 in bracket left is c minus 40 is equal to 0. Now, this expression c minus 40 is a common factor. So, we factor out as c minus 40. And in bracket left, in bracket left this c and this negative 6. In bracket left c minus 6 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression c minus 40 is equal to 0 or this expression c minus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of c is equal to 40 and from this equation we get the value of c is equal to 6. It means uh, we have two cases. This is case 1 and this is case 2. First, we solve this case 1. In this case, we have value of C 40. To find the value of A and B, we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is ABC is equal to 240. Equation 1 is a times B times C is equal to 240. From this equation, if we find the value of A times B, this will be equal to 240 divided by C is 40. So, here we write 40. We get A times B is equal to 240 divided by 40 is 6. Now, we recall equation number, we recall equation number 3. Equation 3 is A plus B C is equal to 64. Equation 3 is A plus B times C is equal to 64. From this equation, if we find the value of A, then A will be equal to 6 over b. So, in this equation, we replace this a with this value 6 over b and we replace this c with this value 40. Then, this equation will become 6 over b plus 40 times b is equal to 
64. Now, if we multiply both sides by b, this implies that uh, 6 plus uh, 40b squared is equal to 64 times b. Now, we move this 64b uh, to the left hand side. So, this will become 40b squared minus 64 times b plus 6 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this 40b squared. We split this negative 64b as negative 60 times b minus 4 times b plus 6 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out uh, 20 times uh, b. In bracket left, uh, 2b minus 3. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 2. In bracket left, uh, 2b minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this 2b minus 3 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, 2 times uh, b minus 3. In the in bracket left, in bracket left this 20b and this negative 2. Bracket left 20 times b minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression 2b minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression 20b minus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of b is equal to 3 over 2 and from this equation, we get the value of b is equal to 2 over 20. And because uh, a, b and c are positive integers and this uh, 3 over 2 is not an integer, this will be rejected and this 2 over 20 is not an integer, this will be rejected. So, from this case, uh, we get uh, no. Now, we solve the second case. In the second case, uh, we have value of C 6. So, by using this equation, we find the value of AB. AB is equal to 240 over C. We replace uh, C with 6. This will become A times B is equal to 240 divided by 6 and uh, a b is equal to 240 divided by 6 will become 40. The a will be equal to 40 over b. Now, in this uh, third equation, we replace this uh, a with the 40 over b and we replace this uh, c with this uh, 6. So, this will become A is equal to 40 over B plus C is 6. So, this DC will become 6 times B is equal to 64. Now, if we multiply both sides by B, this implies that 40 plus uh, 6 times b squared is equal to 64 times b. Move this 64b uh, to the left hand side, this will become 6b squared minus uh, 64 times b plus uh, 40 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this uh, 6b squared and we split this negative 64b as a negative 60 times b minus 4 times b plus 40 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out 6 times b in bracket left b minus 10. From these two terms, we can factor out negative 4 in bracket left b minus 10 is equal to 0. This b minus 10 is a common factor, so we factor out b minus 10. 
and the in bracket left is 6 times b minus 4 is equal to 0. From here either this expression b minus 10 is equal to 0 or this expression 6 times b minus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of b is equal to 10 and from this equation we get the value of b is equal to 4 over 6. This value of b 4 over 6 is not an integer so this will be rejected. We accept only this value of b 10. Now we have a value of b 10 and we have value of c value of c we have 6. To find the value of a we use this equation a is equal to 40 over b. We have already found that c is equal to 6 and to find the value of a we use the equation a is equal to 40 over b and this will be equal to 40 over b is 10 and a will be equal to 40 divided by 10 is 4. So, from this case we get value of a 4 value of b 10 and value of c 6. So, the final solution of a comma b comma c is equal to 4 comma 6 comma 10.